Hey, everybody. Two little things I want to share today that are all kind of adjacent, as well as two things I want to connect you to outside of this video. Uh, the first of which I'm going to be anonymizing actually both these examples because, well, each person's story is theirs to tell. I don't know who among their own friend group might find it. Anyway, don't know. Void in personal details. But begins in 2017, five years ago, five years and a week ago. Received an email from somebody who was actually asking me, they're like, hey, I really find your first course helpful, the free one. Code your first game used by over 300,000 people. Uh, they would love to pay for my second course if they could, but they can't. And I just responded by sending them a code to get the course for free because that's what I've always done every other been in business when people say, hey, I'd like to have something. I can't get it otherwise. Could you help me out? I help them out. Uh, this is something I would certainly encourage as great business advice. Certainly no business advisor, coach, mentor, et cetera, would tell me that that's cool or okay to do. However, just like my previous video about the charity fundraiser bundles, that's not why I'm in it, right? I want to help improve people's lives, make a difference for people. That is why I'm doing what I'm doing. That couldn't be the only thing I'm doing because I still have to pay my cost of living and I will sell because it's still the business that I'm in to make products and services. Anyway, so I sent that discount code, didn't hear from the person no size them saying, you know, thanks so much, have a great day. And then five years later, I heard back that because, and this is this person giving credit to it, not me, because I had shared that code with them five years ago. It turned out they were 13 years old. The reason why they couldn't buy the course is because they didn't have a credit card, weren't comfortable asking their parents. Now, I didn't know this person was 13. Otherwise, I might have been more careful or guarded in my communication just because there's things about contacting minors. On. Anyway, I didn't know. I just provided a code. Someone couldn't afford it. Couldn't get at it. Here you go. Uh, that was when they were 13. Now they've just finished high school with 5.0 GPA in specifically technical focus. They live in a part of the world across the world from me where you pick your high school concentration rather than your college concentration the way we do here in the States, getting job offers, getting opportunities to go on to next step of their education. They, of course, moved outside of what they first learned from me, which was JavaScript, web programming for game stuff, C Sharp and C++ stuff they're doing now, along with AI and Minecraft mods and all kinds of other things that they're up to. Awesome. And fully, I want to recognize like this is this person's accomplishments and credits and so on. I don't get credit for that, right? All I did was help provide a little bit of support at a point where they were trying to feel this out. They weren't in a situation to be able to get it for themselves, but made it available to them. And uh, anyway, I just want to reach out and say thanks to share that this, you know, helped get them on a better track. They didn't have any previous exposure to programming. And uh, things like this, of course, really helped me keep doing it. In terms of uh, every year, I'm turning down other opportunities or jobs to work for places that would pay me much more than what I'm making doing what I'm doing. I am proud of the impact that I'm able to have with my free content, free courses, occasionally when I need to, helping someone have access to something they couldn't. Um, and the other part of this is like, you know, you might say, okay, well, Chris, well, maybe this is me. Maybe I don't currently have a way to get at these things that are paid access to paid, paid resources and services on. That is part of why that gamedevtraining.com email series that I authored exists and is available. Basically, I took what was a lot of my content that before if someone messaged me and they're like, hey, I'd really like to get at this, but I can't get at it. Because I know not everyone actually wants to have the communication. I'm just comfortable asking that. Not everyone wants to necessarily, I don't know, surface that they are not at a financial situation to be able to access things. That email list, which is just like a weekly message you receive, has embedded throughout it the vast majority of my resources that normally are paywalled, paid through, connected through our servers and so on, at literally no cost, directly accessible through that email series, links to click in those emails, along with basically information that helps contextualize them because we figured out, and this is from my years of training people directly with these things, that there's some of them that they build on others or that they rely on certain concepts or they rely on a certain way of seeing things. And so it's setting it up where it's like in a classroom, right? You can better use the material when it's curriculum sequence comes up following other stuff, right? If you just drop someone with a biology two textbook, you don't really help them out because that's not where they're at. And so this helps chain the things together in a sequence that we found really applies for a lot of people who are using these things. So if you need access to stuff, rather than hit me up personally or directly, and it's not because I wouldn't or couldn't be willing to give you things without the paywall, it's because there's already a automated scalable way to do that at gamedevtraining.com, which let me just double check, has so far at the time this email, so far at the time this message sent out 58,000 emails that people have signed up for and said, send me this information for free, and my system does. So that is available to you, gamedevtraining.com. If you want access to my resources, you want to learn our ways of doing stuff, you're not sure if you can or are willing or able to pay for the things that are paywalled, that's important. And again, it's like my previous video about the charity fundraising bundles, because all else being equal, I figured I'd rather have that impact for these people being reached this way than a trade-off of potentially either a few more customers or someone stretching themselves who is maybe in debt or not financially able, doesn't have a credit card, whatever the circumstance. And I don't ask, and it's not my business. I'm not trying to find out. It's a way to get at that. In addition, of course, if you don't have that problem, you can still get that information through gamedevtraining.com. So it's a resource I want to make sure people are aware of and available. Um, genuinely, these resources, materials, videos, and so on 
have been helping people's lives. And so like literally right when you sign up for gamedotrain.com, the courses you get through that are exactly this one, including the paid course that I sent to this guy who five years later credits to why he got a programming path, technical path in life, setting him up for his job opportunities, next stage of education, and so on. Now, speaking of next stage of education, there's another case of this where, of course, this is about, that's about like the product lens, right? The eBooks, the audiobooks, the uh, video courses, those kind of things, um, training code, exercise booklets and whatever on the services side, right? I, even, it's so important to me that I can help people who need the help most, who aren't always necessarily the same people can pay for it. That's part of why we also have, even for my services, my training, my one-on-ones with me, which is a bunch of my hours of work week, a bunch of my hours of work every week is training people uh, and paying other trainers to work with those people and supporting backend and administrative overhead and legal and all this other kind of stuff, keeping these machines in operation. That is also available at no cost, right? We have a sponsorship option in Home Team Game Dev that I'm always encouraging people to, if this could be a good fit for you, apply for it. And the second story I want to share for this, again, anonymizing us a little bit, is one of our people applied a long time ago because they were in a situation where they needed to have a project to show as part of their graduate, not graduate, graduation senior requirements. Like they needed a project to be able to show. They didn't have teachers at their school. Again, there's somebody else on the opposite side of the world from me. They didn't have teachers in their school who could help support them in their technical learning, and they didn't have teammates at their school who could work with them. But we do have those things in home team. And so this person reached out to me, and it was kind of like innovative in this way. He was like, hey, it wouldn't be a whole lot of extra work on your part. Here's the other stuff it would require. Are you open to supporting and facilitating this as project as like an outside advisor and as a sponsored member, essentially, right? So again, they actually are supported through the kind support of generous strangers on Patreon anonymously, keeping a certain number of our spots open. Not a majority, but a certain number of spots are open to people who only can access our group through sponsorship. I uh, was able to, we were able to do that. And I was able to fill out a few extra papers, respond to emails from people in their program, sign off on some stuff, oversee some things. Wasn't a ton of extra work. So it wasn't like I was running a whole program for the school or anything, but helped meet the graduation requirement. Uh, the person has just finished their finals, done well, and uh, has been accepted to a university in the United States for a track that they are interested in in the game industry kind of work they want to do which was their goal. So congratulations. Thing, and just like with this previous story, a thousand percent, all the credit goes to this person, to these people. It is not me taking credit for their stuff or saying that it's, you know, rah, rah, I'm so great. It is saying that I am out there trying to make these kind of differences for people and succeeding at making these kind of differences for people, not just on the product side, which is gamedevtraining.com, all of my stuff, most of my stuff, uh, past the paywall with no paywall, even if I couldn't pay for it, doesn't matter, gamedevtraining.com. And then for my training services, Literally, despite, again, I am paying other trainers and onboarding specialists and support and video editors and all and bringing in guest speakers and all of that stuff works and happens. That is also available in not as many quantity, but that's our sponsorship program and home team game dev. So if you would need that kind of support to be a part of a group, you still have to be 18 or older in that case, unlike this person who messaged me and they're 13 to get the products, uh, because in that case, I can't moderate all the interactions between people and they're just kind of additional regulatory challenges for data and all kinds of stuff that complicates working with people younger than 18, unfortunately. But if you're 18 or older and that would describe your situation, all the information is explained at hometeamgamedev.com on the application about how our sponsorship program works. Also in the FAQ, if you're curious how it works, or if you are in a situation where you can help support the work that I am doing out here, trying to make resources available to more people who couldn't access them otherwise, trying to still produce professional grade stuff people can and do pay for, and I make my living selling these products and services but also finding ways to make them available and accessible to people who can't necessarily pay for it themselves. If you're open to helping support me on Patreon, link in the description. That is, again, a consistent part of where that is. It's based on that number, how many extra seats we're able to fill of people who are in the wait list for applying to be sponsored members and home team. And we don't advertise internally or externally. We don't say who is and who isn't. Uh, we think it's private, personal, financial situation and differences. There's a longer wait list, obviously, if someone is on that queue versus just able to pay their own way in. But that is there as a resource. It's made a difference for some folks. It's going to continue making a difference for folks. It's important to me that that is there. And it's made possible by the generous support of people out there who have a little extra budget they can afford towards helping me help other people. So something to think about, be aware of, whether you need those resources, whether you can help me support uh, other people having access to their resources, that's going on. So gamedevtraining.com is the materials on a weekly email series curriculum kind of built out into an order. Uh, explaining common answers to questions we'll have when they're going through training stuff with me. And then the home team game dev course is our training group through which you can find either information on the sponsorship if you need it, or if you want to help support our sponsorships in that group, which have been a valuable part of community, multiple time project leads and very successful help shift and move some careers and help people get some jobs. And it's not our main thing we're after, but we have had that impact for people. 
Uh, find out about that at patreon.com slash gamkido, G-A-M-K-E-D-O. It's my old company name. Working on that. Anyway, that's it for the day. Thanks for being here. Catch all our time. Thanks for, and, and literally just, even just for following along, for being a subscriber here, for watching these videos, for being around, for being present. I'm thankful. I'm grateful. Uh, again, just like with the response I got from this message from a five year ago thing I made available to somebody helps me keep doing it. Thank you so much for being here. Catch you next time. Bye for now.